Richard Southern joins us with the day's top business stories. And Richard, we should all be keeping a close eye on our bank accounts. There could be a deposit coming our way from the provincial government. How nice is this? I mean, there's so many bills arrive in the mail. It's going to be nice to, for some of us, have a check, Erica, arrive in the mail. They're going out tomorrow from the government. What we're talking about here, this is a little known rebate that we're about to get. It's in relation to the Federal Carbon Price Initiative. This is called now the Climate Action Incentive Payment. And it's kind of your tax-free rebate uh, for the cost of the federal pollution pricing. So it's going out in the mail uh, tomorrow. Uh, the payment uh, available to those here in Ontario, as well as Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. The amount you get depends on your family situation, but... You know, for an individual, it could be some $373, apparently. In order to get this, though, this is key, in order to get it, income taxes and benefit returns must be filed every year. How nice, Erica, for many of us to have a little bit of extra scratch. Yeah, and uh, certainly considering virtually everything costs more these days, and uh, it's not just products in the store that are putting a bigger dent in our wallets, Richard. Concerts. Have you been to a concert recently, Erica? Have I been to a concert? No, but I've been trying to get tickets to concerts, and uh, yeah, they're not cheap. Let me tell you. No, they are not. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, latest numbers in show concert tickets are, on average, 20% more expensive now than they were before the pandemic. I mean, you need only look at some shows coming into Toronto to see how expensive some of these concerts can be. You want to go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Erica, at the end of August here in T.O.? You could spend as much as 800 bucks if you want to stand on the floor. Kendrick Lamar coming to town soon. 500 bucks odd for floor seats to that show. Now, apparently the big reason for these pricey tickets is demand. A lot of people like you, Erica, eager to get back to the live shows and so the big promoters they're able to hike ticket prices live nation entertainment the biggest concert promoter said they've seen record demand never before have they seen so much demand and yeah. so up go prices there. Yeah. but erica's not going because they're too expensive <laughs> okay you're gonna miss what's his name who's the canadian guy we just saw there the you weekend gotta miss him. That got the weekend that, yeah that was john mendez sean mendez sean mendez oh yeah there okay uh, and finally, one of the world's most popular social media platforms suffered a global outage this morning, Richard. Couldn't even see what Sean Mendez was treating, tweeting. <laughs> uh, Eric and Natividad couldn't tweet. Nobody could. Twitter went down worldwide for 45 minutes just after 8 o'clock this morning, Erica. This was the longest global outage in years for the company. However, they haven't had a multi-hour one since 2016. Yeah, the fact of the matter is Twitter has become an important social media site in terms of news and politics. So when it is down for 45 minutes like it was today, people do take notice. It does come as the company officially sues Elon Musk for a breach of contract. Uh, the stock, Twitter, down one and a quarter percent today. Real quick on gas prices that are going down two pennies tonight, Erica. That'll hold that price in to Sunday. All right. Thanks for that report, Richard. We'll see you in the next hour. Thank you.